With it being winter, we want to make sure everybody at home stays healthy, especially when it comes to your heart. So we want to welcome in Dr. Vijay Subaro, a cardiologist with Denver Heart. Now, Dr. Subaro, winter weather, it can be tough on pretty much everybody, but especially those with heart disease or high blood pressure. What should that population be extra aware of this time of year? Um, yeah, good. good to be here. Thank you for giving me this opportunity. It's pretty apropos with uh, with the winter, you know, kind of the next two weeks being pretty cold. Um, absolutely. If you have risk factors for heart disease, um, your uh, risk of having, you know, uh, an accelerated cardiac problem goes higher as the temperature drops. And um, and this is mainly because you as soon as you get exposed to cold, the first thing the body does is constricts the arteries and blood flow uh, just to preserve heat and as a response to the cold. That then obviously reduces blood flow to various organs in the body and increases the pressure within the arteries of, and hence increasing blood pressure. So people with risk factors for heart disease or previous heart disease can experience less blood flow to their heart or other organs and increase blood pressure if they expose themselves to the cold. So what are some potential warning signs of problems when, that people should be aware of while out in the cold? I think one is to uh, definitely be aware of heart attacks and signs and symptoms, even typical and atypical symptoms. Uh, this, the risk in cold is not just exposure of skin or to cold, but also inhaling cold air. So the couple of things would be to obviously protect yourself, expose skin, cover your mouth, and if you are going to be exposed to the cold, and look out for increasing shortness of breath, obviously chest pressure or other classic signs of a heart attack. If you have had a heart attack before, consider remembering those symptoms that you had at that time, and if they get replicated while you're exposing, ex being exposed to the cold, obviously you need to call 911. And, and not ignore those symptoms. Um, and, and, and we wanna you know, make sure that we drive this point home. This can be very serious. There, that major snowstorm out east, I'm originally from the, the Buffalo, New York area, five mm -hmm. to seven feet of snow, multiple people out there shoveling died because of issues over exertion and heart attacks and things like that. This can be a very serious issue. Exactly, I think taking just shoveling snow as the cliche example of having you know, heart issues it's not just a cliche example. Just if you look at the act of shoveling snow, just the whole mechanism involved, and if it's if it's heavy, wet snow, you are holding your breath, you're lifting a larger weight than necessary, and you're doing this, you know, essentially a contortion across your body to shovel it out of the way, all of which increases blood pressure by itself, just because you're essentially doing, I guess in weightlifting terms, a form of a deadlift in a very poor form. And then with the holding your breath while salving or just kind of bearing down, you are increasing your blood pressure. And then you add to that the exposure to the cold and everything that cold does to you or your body that we just talked about. You know, you're, you are creating a perfect storm, if you will.